247. Our big ABBI event uh, every year is the American Heritage. We're two weeks out right now. We've been working them through the shoot, exercising them, and of course got them on a on the, on the feed program and so we're going to buck them and see how how our hard work has paid off or not paid off we got two weeks to make a few adjustments if we need to so we're just going to kind of give it a give it a test run this morning and uh, see what we got the best bull that i have this year if he really did his best at the heritage maybe he can win fifth i mean realistically so um that's a, that's just how tough it is 233 is a is a Houdini calf out of a Johnny Rotten that comes from uh, Neil Gay, uh, the, the dam does. He can win the whole deal. He's never put his whole game together at one one time, but that bull after the American Heritage, I will turn him out and he'll be a big time rodeo bull. He, he's got tons of ability. And for four seconds, like the American Heritage bucks four, they only buck for four, um, he could surprise us. You know, he could put it all together. Uh, so we I have high hopes for him. The red calf next to him is, is a Houdini out of a bodacious uh, cow. Again, he's, he hey. has kind of like the 233. He's, he's packed full of ability, but just can't put it all together. And um, he's going because he's paid up, but I don't, I don't look for, for him to be in the top 20. The, the best shot we have is the 230 bull, 234 bull over against the fence. He won third at Oklahoma City. And um, that bull bucks so hard, sometimes he flips over. So I'm anxious to see what he does today. I'd like to take all these bulls and combine them into one because they all have something um, worthwhile, but they just, none of them are just that special, special bull that it takes to win the American Heritage. <laughs> It's kind of like a, a pitcher going out in, the, in game seven. You, you got to you got to be on your you got to be on your game. It's got to be your day. Um, and these big events, luck does play uh, a role. But there are five or six calves that, and we've already seen because it's June. We've seen those those better calves go. So if, you know you've been in this business 15 years. If you're honest with yourself, um, those those are the favorites. And Unfortunately, Homestead Genetics doesn't have one, but stranger things have happened. You know, when I get up that morning, I'm, you know, I'm going to go there to win it. But, um, you know, if we get out, if we out of these eight calves, if we get two in the top ten, I'll be, I'll be thrilled.
After that last bull buck, the earlier comment when we were talking, I said the best we could win at the areas was fifth. I want to change that because that, that calf was pretty pretty good just then. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed in two of them. One of them I was excited about. That's been his best trip so far. It's, it's a Houdini Bodacious that I told you had a lot of ability. Some of the things we've been trying on him last month seem to be working. He's always had a lot of kicks. So he's kind of put a, he's kind of put a full uh, program together. He, he's fun. He stayed, in his, he stayed in his spin. He still kicked. He could be a little bit closer to the shoot. So we're not going to buck him anymore before the heritage, but we'll run him through a bunch. Try to get him tighter. Through the years, you find little tricks that uh, basically it's his time running them through, showing them where the outgates are. I like to use different outgates, one on the right and one on the left, you know, where they don't just come out and go one direction. So actually, the calf on the far left is a, is a last call. He won third at Palestine, was 90 points. But, but again, I took him to another event, and he was 72 points. So. He could have his day there, hopefully. So, you know, uh, we're not, I'm not counting him out. But, but that, is, that is one of the best, other than closing time, one of the better last call calves that I've had. Yeah, they're like a bunch of wild kids trying to train them how to go to school or, you know, you got to, you know, teach them right and wrong and, you know, which way to go and everything else. So when they turn three, I'm kind of glad to see them go, you know, somebody else can deal with them. But sometimes we get, get to keep them and keep the training on them and it gets fun. Hey, hey. Cream colored calf to the right, he's a, he's a moon calf, which, People ask me what, what was my favorite win, and I think it was in, in 2010 when, when Moon beat Bushwhacker at Tulsa in the Classic. And a lot of it was because my family, my mom and dad were there, and my, family, my little boy, and we just had a big celebration after. But anyway, this is, that's a Moon calf, and he's a, he, he really bucks well also. You know, I learned a lot today. Uh, these are the bulls that entered in the American Heritage, and this is uh, this is a kind of a reckoning day. We, um, we like we talked about, each bull is a little different, and some bulls will re will really hammer on this next couple of weeks, and we'll buck them again probably a week from now, and um, and some of them are ready. You know, uh, the little black bull, you know, uh, that was so good, he um, he's ready to go. Um, and the the 234 bull, we'll probably buck him again. So. Each bull is a little different. I learned a li little more about uh, about all of them. When I go in and watch the film, I'll, I'll uh, assess each one. You learn a lot uh, from each out, and you need to be prepared and be ready to, to, to assess what they've done and adjust because you don't have a lot of opportunities. You don't have a lot of chances to change. You can't come back the next day and buck and see if that works. If it doesn't, the next day try something else. It's not that kind of sport. And all the things go into it, you never know what's going to happen until you pop the latch. You know, the favorites at the American Heritage, they're, they're not necessarily going to, you know, they got to pop the latch too. The money's great and the everything, but it's just about all the hard work and the, and the things that, you know, the support you've gotten and and your family's usually there, and your partners, you know, that have spent money with you, and um, so it's just a, you know, it's a great feeling for, for everybody. Thank you.
Well, American Heritage, you know, you start your payments uh, 18 months in advance and you start with whatever you think is going to be the best and you kind of narrow it down. So those seven bulls are the ones um, that that came from a from a from like 20 and we through the through the months we've we've um, deleted some of them. In fact, two of them from last Saturday didn't make the cut. So we're we're down to, to five bulls that were taken, and uh, that that particular out wasn't the determining factor. It was that plus the ones leading up to that. On the bright side, we have we have two bulls that that kind of stepped up to the next level. So I'm, I'm more excited about that than I am disappointed about those two. Two thirty three bull. He's a he's a Houdini over a Johnny Rotten cow. Um, and going back to Durango even further than that. So he has the genetics behind him. He's always been a hard bucker, really intense, a lot of electricity, but he's never put a pattern down. He's never, uh, if you'll notice the, the bulls that win, they have a pattern. They stay hooked in a spin with a lot of electricity and a lot of uh, kick and front feet off the ground, the whole package. I, I like the big red bull too. In fact, you know, when you look at his papers, you see Bodacious back there uh, about a generation back on the bottom side. Ronnie Roach raised Houdini. He was born in, in uh, 1991, and um, Mitch Terrell bought bought the bull, and Monty Sanford had the bull. Uh, Bob Wilfong had the bull for a while, so the bull has been in this area, um, and we bought the bull. Lindell Hurst and I bought the bull. I can't recall what year he was seven or eight years old. In 2000, went to to Ronnie Roach's uh, house, and and it was it was a thrill to go there. We, dr we drove around, looked at all his cows, and, and I took, uh, all I had was $1,500 to spend. And he showed me a rooster, and he showed me the Kung Fu cow, and he showed me a spook, I believe, and some more of the foundation things that, you know, that, he's, that he started with. And uh, when it was over, I, I said, um, I'd like to buy one of your cows, and I've got $1,500 to spend. And he kind of scratched his head, and he goes, well, son, I... I don't have anything for $1,500 and we were driving along. He goes, I've got a cow that's, that's dry and she's open, which anyone in the cattle business would know you don't buy an open cow, an older cow. But, you know, I was, I was desperate to get in, into the business and, and bought her and we bred her to Houdini and she actually had the second, um, or the first calf we had won the RSR, Bob Talman's big maturity. So it was the second champion ever. Um, so it was just dumb luck that happening and it's probably the, it was the best and worst thing that ever happened to me because I got hooked from that from that event been doing that ever since last year the 2013 million dollar futurity all the 10 finalists were Houdini sons or who are out of Houdini daughters or out of Houdini grandsons on the top so you had Houdini in all 10 of the calves that made the finals so, um, you know, Billy decided, you know, we're going to use Houdini full time and I've got the 25 calves certified and ready to go here at the ranch. And so you can come here or you can go to my website at homesteadgenetics.net and, and watch the videos and pick out a calf from there. But yes, they are for sale right now. And uh, like I say, Houdini's genetics have, have proven themselves. So, I, you know, I feel like these calves will go, go pretty fast. Going to the Heritage next week, there's so many favorites, and, and one of my calves isn't isn't one of them. If you were to ask, you know, there's five or six calves that are that are really good and are going to be very very hard to beat. But you got to go, you got to go and, and pop the latch and 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 see which one's the best that day.